Hello and welcome to another rendition of the Quick Trolls. It is I, your host as always, Tristan J. Today we're going to be playing uh, some Dead Space 3, uh, the obviously third installation in the Dead Space series. One of my all-time favorite series, actually, of this console generation. I think it really invokes what uh, Resident Evil of old. I think the first one is very much like uh, Resident Evil 4, but... Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple things about the game and do some playthroughs and stuff like that. But uh, one of the newest things in this game is the uh, weapon crafting system. You can basically take stuff that you find around the environment and kind of piece it together. And there's different pieces you can go to. There's uh, lower tools, there's the upper tool, which is basically the main engine of the whole thing. You can change it and make it like the machine gun, which it already was. You can make it like a plasma thing, which is basically the kind of old school like the cutting tool from the first game you can make the bottom one different stuff you know I got the rotator cuff on there now so it can twist again like that old school pistol from the first game <clears throat> now wh while this weapon system is kind of cool um, it's pretty intricate you kind of got to play around with it a lot in order to understand it um, there is some tutorials but I, I think they're not as useful as they kind of could be but um, but there's another cool thing you can add like certain stuff like you saw like acid bath there you can also add flame stuff so basically you can add like elemental effects to your damage and stuff like that uh, my favorite is the flame uh, another useful one is stasis which makes them kind of slow down um, you can also buy blueprints for guns you don't have to make your own you can buy like the standard issue weapons and if you buy them you can change them around um, you can equip these upgrades on them like uh, faster reload, faster uh, fire rate, more ammo stuff, and of course we got you can make weapons and stuff and or ammo and gels for healing yourself. So big crafting system and of course the safe comes back. Uh, this is my huge inventory. This is me after beating the game one time. This is my second playthrough now. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Let me uh, show you a gun here. So this one I have the uh, standard gun on top and then the military gun on the bottom. The second one I have the plasma gun on top and a spinning blade. And I'm gonna kill my girlfriend. No! No! Don't kill me! Okay, well enough of that. <laughs> so let me show you the other part of, uh, of the, the system which is of course the, the suits. Now it's much the same. Uh, you can pick from a variety of suits. It um, once you upgrade them, it's it, it the upgrades are all throughout all the suits. So you upgrade one part of it, it goes to the other suit. So basically, there's like cosmetic choices and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, most of them kind of look the same. The only thing that really just makes it distinct are the helmets, um, which is pretty badass. Let's uh, watch it here. Like, see, I want a helmet like that just, like, forms around me. That's probably the coolest thing in this Dead Space series. I Honestly, hands down, the coolest thing in this series. Anyway, yeah, for, for the upgrades, you can upgrade your stasis, your health, your armor, uh, your kinesis, stuff like that. So it's... With the, with the game, a lot of the upgrade and stuff is streamlined. Your ammo is universal now and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. But the, the crafting system is the big kick here, and... It's really cool later on. You feel like a big badass once you like make really good weapons, but it takes a long ass time to do it, and uh, that's probably the biggest problem with the game is it just takes too long, and the game, the game is just too long overall. Uh, anyway, I just like kind of dispersed throughout, but uh, now I'm gonna actually just go through a straight playthrough and just show you how the game works. Um, anyway. So the beginning of the game, you're kind of in this hub world of like this debris of spaceships and you kind of traverse from spaceship to spaceship um, with these like uh, this telegraph, not telegraph system, this like monorail station ship thing that goes between different wreckage sites. Basically, you're trying to <clears throat> let me recap the story in general. Um, first, of all, let me say that the, the space scenes amazing just uh, just so drop traffic did you see that planet below uh, great great graphics anyway um so the story yes dead space isaac clark he's got a couple months out there oh, couple months after the first game duh 
I am just fucking up. I tell you I'm not drunk, but I am a little tired. Anyway, couple months after the second game, he's all like, ah, I don't want to fucking look for these markers anymore, these big obelisk things that turn people into these necromorph zombie things. I don't want to look for those anymore. So he gives up, turns to the bottle and drinking and being depressed instead because his girlfriend left him. What can you do? And his wife died prior, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of pain in his life, I guess. Um, and then the, the soldiers come and take him. They're like, Isaac, you gotta save the day, you, you bitch. And they're like yelling at him. Why would you help someone if they call you a bitch and retarded and stuff like that? And, uh, so he joins them anyway because there's a unitologist attack which are the worshippers of these markers and uh, one thing leads to another he joins with two soldiers and their group finds out that some scientists and his old love interest which I don't remember Ashley Rachel something like that it, she's a dumb uh, everyone in the story is pretty dumb even Isaac especially, uh, especially this one like the story is like for fans of the series like the wrap up is kind of nice but just it's it's too heavy handed and it just kind of goes it's just really dumb I don't know and not like Nicolas Cage good like a bad good it's just kind of bad just dumb but anyway yeah so so they're, they're this research team is trying to go to Tau Volantis this ice planet that um, is supposed to hold the secret to destroying all the markers and that's what you're doing but the pretty much the first third of the game is in space I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, because most of the game coverage has been of this ice planet, and it was kind of surprised to me to see how much freaking space stuff there was, which is cool and whatever. Um, so yeah, this is the beginning of chapter 5. You saw me use the little light thingy that lets you, uh, you know, pretty much know where you have to go. I use a lot, even though some of it's kind of straightforward, just to make sure, because it's, it's hard to get, you know, you get turned around quite a bit. There's many times where the corridors look exactly the same and I'm like hey I'm uh, you know looking around and I don't know what I'm doing here I just feel like you know maybe I'll make this into a dubstep video <laughs> okay enough of that so yeah um, uh, the biggest um, gimmick I would say besides like the whole no hub uh, I would say was like the big thing in the first one where everything's kind of displayed in front of you is you know it's a horror game it's in space pretty creepy I think they still got that same vibe uh, with this one uh, the sound design is excellent as always the music is just very tension especially if there's like hordes of necromos on you it just feels like holy shit I better you know get my shit together and uh, say shit a lot of course <laughs> um, and of course, there's always, you know, small puzzles like hacking mini games and like little puzzles of this nature too. Oc doors, it's super easy and I don't know, nothing exciting about it. But you're an engineer. Um, if you didn't know that, and you're just joining the Dead Space thing for the first time. You're an engineer that kind of just got thrown into this chaotic world of markers and necromorphs and stuff like that. Judging from the diagnostic, it's a real piece of shit. We can get it to work, can't we? Hey, there's British people in here. Oh, there's pinball too, which I was really disappointed that I couldn't, you know, play it. So, fuck that shit. Oh, let's see here. Uh, so there's lockers and little cases around that have like loot and uh, spare parts, stuff of that nature. Oops, I hear something. Go down this way to die, Isaac. There we go. Here's some action. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. I I gotta say, for for sure. Um, as soon as like the necromorphs kind of come towards who I got a fear for my life, especially in the beginning. It felt a lot harder than the other games just because you didn't get those cool weapons, you know, first throughout. And the pistol felt a lot weaker than it did in other games. Um, but I mean, once you get towards the end of the game, you get all these like schematics, like I have the acid bath right there, which helps a lot for damage. Again, I think fire is a lot better. The stasis helps out a lot too. Um, that's probably 
the coolest stuff, but it's not till like over halfway through the game, which you know when you when you play the game you want to feel badass toward the end. Oh, um, here is a little scavenger bot thingy that uh, you can find throughout the game. I found two. I don't know if there's more, but basically you can send them to find stuff for you. They'll go to your work desk and they'll give you parts and stuff like that and uh, you can send them out again so they're unlimited but it takes about i don't know like 10 minutes of real game time for them to come back i don't know it's kind of cool um as, as far as the, the monsters go yeah they seem a little bit hard overpowered in the beginning um i think that's plays into the you know the tension i was definitely intense because there was quite a few times where i died and um I, oh, I got really mad at the game <laughs> because it's pretty 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 hard um, early on and I really didn't like the whole dumb uh, I didn't really like the crafting system at first towards the end of the game you know I changed my mind but uh, still I don't know overall I would have just been fine with it watching. but hey you know I'm not sore about it um, those those things with the the orange glowy things by the way they're the worst <laughs> They're the scariest thing in the game. Uh, not only do they explode behind you like that just happened there, but they just scream like that god awful noise. The ah, like someone's just like raping somebody. Those these buggers are annoying too because they basically you know they're small targets. You got to kill them. But uh, the thing with those are they kind of cling to you. They're easy to rip off and you just you know jam X. But uh, they go into other people's bodies. So if you like kill something. They'll like reanimate them basically, so just uh, just like long instances where I just like had to freaking try and kill them a bunch a bunch, but uh, they're annoying. But I'm gonna end here. Um, overall, I think it's not the best way to end the series, but it was fun. Um, kind of some mediocre kind of Dead Space game. The other games are much better. Uh, three out of five. Uh, let's just watch me die and uh, <laughs> see you in another quick throw.